guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final four, yes, four <laughs> episodes of Reincarnated as a Sword. We are finally doing this after so many weeks, it feels like five, ten weeks of postponing, and then this is sad that there and everything else in between. We are finally doing this. It is now 1 o'clock in the morning, almost 1.30, like yeah, 5 minutes to 1.30, and I'm doing this. I don't know how I have all this energy. Well, I, I know why. I know why. Yeah, yeah. Because all the, the, the news that has been coming out between Monday to today, and then some things that I was talking about on Twitter that I might be doing. Okay, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, you know of something, but we'll talk about that at the end when we get to the end of this. But I am sad that this is going to be over, but at the same time, remember, this does have a season two, um, initially, because that was also another reason of why I was into watching this anime. It's so funny, because both of, both this and freaking Kuma Kuma Bear, like, literally, in the end, I ended up watching them because of the fact is I found out they had both, one, season two is coming soon, and then two, I was like, okay, I was like, it looks cute. It's, you know, my niche. It's what I like. I like cute things and stuff. So we're going to sit here and watch the cute things. <laughs> I mean, hell, I even got the books of Kuma Kuma Bear, which still have not had time to read them because, like I said, busy, 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 be girl doing her shit and everything. But, you know. Like I said, you know, hint, hint, nudge, nudge about that other stuff, but we'll talk about that in the end. If, if it's going the way I think it's going. Oh, when we get into that, I will probably be very, very busy for the next, like, six months to a year, you know, despite with everything else that I have to watch. But yeah, we'll talk about that really more towards the end without me giving too much hint, hint, nudge, nudge of what I'll be watching next. But, you know, yeah, we'll save that towards, like, the final SP episode. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm trying not to make this too, too long because I know this edit is going to take forever. Ooh. Oh, of course, of course you'd be here. <laughs> Girl, no. <laughs> Calm your whole behind down. So. I should have turned the heat down. It's kind of hot in here now. Uh, I'll do it after. Y'all really got a problem with that? I mean, damn. Could you literally get your sword out of her face, bruh? Like, damn. 
Like, excuse me, sir. No. Back the fuck up. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm probably not going to bed till like it's like 5 o'clock maybe I mean cause like this is gonna take 2 hours yes and well really also despite I don't know how long I talk in the video but still my the goal is 2 hours and maybe a couple minutes over then I gotta watch um yesterday's ice guy get that out for the morning at least before I go to sleep um and then I have three shows <laughs> to do today um then I still have patreon stuff to do but I might have to do that Thursday it just depends on how quickly I can get everything done from today done Of time. Yeah. I say that and then watch a hot <laughs> Okay, once again, back the fuck up. I mean, of course, come on, he's an ass. Oh, damn, Amanda. He <laughs> 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 got threatened. <laughs> if I was him, I wouldn't be okay after that. Fucking your dad's balls. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. True. See, I want him to eat his words. He's going to. I don't like mm -mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, thanks.
No, no, fine. That's not your fault. Seriously? But, like, if it was me, shouldn't the child be getting the most sleep? I mean, but, yeah, we don't want to treat her like a kid, but still, she a baby. Literally, go do something else. Yeah, you really don't. Right? Now, when she kick your behind, yes. Remember, she's the queen of weak so you know she got the shit in the bag. Like yes. But it's a duel, so why would anybody stop him in the first place? See, I feel like Brandon's just gonna be like, done. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, once again, she is OP. Why are we surprised, guys? Hey, come on. Attack her. Come on. He's trying to be like fucking Lancer. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Good job, baby. <laughs>
she serious about this? What it always comes back to, <laughs> right? Oh, oh, my God, I'm crying. Yeah, I mean, I've never really seen anybody use a web. Well, I mean, besides on P5, but yeah. Did she just, uh, the blade? My own. Ma'am, I'm not ready. No, because I feel like you about to do something. This will scare the shit out of me. Oh, hell nah. She just been, she turned it into a damn snake. Good. Oh. We not Medusa. Jesus. What are we doing? Ma'am, this ain't fake. Oh, God. Oh, no, baby, don't lose. Get up. Yeah, but something tells me when she gets close.
I mean, yes. Out of all the things, yes. I, I, I would probably say that too, or oh shit, like damn. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> but is she okay? Are you. Nothing? I feel like that's bullshit. Even even though she said it's true, but still, you'd be like, mm. Mm. Because I don't think Fran really went to call Amanda Mommy. Two hours, oh my god. At least it's two hours though. He still did good. She brought that shit up real quick. God oh, damn. You're right about that. Mm -mm. We gonna hold her to that because I mean we're only on one of the final four episodes and such. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, Amanda is a mother figure because you know the orphanage and everything. Sweet. <laughs> so y'all decided <laughs> so y'all all got y'all ass beat <laughs>
Okay, so I did think it was interesting that we did have an Amanda versus Fran fight. I, I mean, initially, you already knew that Amanda was going to have the upper hand because ranking-wise, she is A, Fran is D. So, I mean, even though Fran is very, very high-leveled and, you know, uh, OP, someone like Amanda, you just, mm. wrong with that it's just you could tell regardless she had the upper hand you kind of already knew in a way even though you want Fran to win for her to have her have her moment everything else you just you're like you already know you already freaking know it is gonna be Amanda and, and yes I mean it would have been very interesting if Fran won versus Amanda I mean that would have been very different now I'm gonna say this the first duel that the, the freaking bastard the elf bastard right there that's what we're gonna just, we're just gonna call him that for the majority of this series and then whenever if he comes into season two that's where we're gonna continuously call him okay don't know why because i just i'm sitting here and i'm like thinking about it a little more and i'm like yeah you're reminding me of a character i don't like btw this character that i am thinking of is dead okay so yeah, I mean, because I think once, once y'all figure out who I'm about to talk about, then you obviously know what show I'm talking about and such. Okay, so this character in this particular show was part of a group in this series. <laughs> I'm trying to say say everything in it without giving you the title of the show because if I feel like I give you the title of the show, everything's going to... So I'm trying not to say names of characters so this character the asshole like character was a very like arrogant bastard and i hated him so freaking much like he one minute he would always if he's around the main character he would be super nice and such anytime when he, he is around the main character and his girlfriend but big but 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 because this asshole was also watching over the main character's girlfriend and such. And the main character's girlfriend's like, no, we're going to sneak out and we're going to go do this, like, this quest together, right? So they sneak out and stuff, yada, yada, yada. So she, you know, she's on her way. She hides behind him and here comes the asshole. The asshole out of nowhere because he's like, oh, hey, my job is to watch the main character's girlfriend, right? Right. So in the end, these two, oh my God, I just froze. Okay, so let's call him overpowered person right here. Overpowered, number one, the OP of OP. You probably already know who I'm freaking talking about versus the asshole. They just have a duel. This is a time duel. Once again, you already probably know what I'm talking about. In the end, of course, the overpowered <laughs> person ends up winning against the asshole. And he gets really pissed off about it to the point I was like, dude, oh my god, yeah, you got your butt kicked by overpowered AF boy and such. And, you know, because you want to be around his girlfriend so freaking much because, yes, you, your mission right now was to do that even though your other mission is also to do something else. Which, you know, if you've seen it, you already know. You already freaking know. But then, like, oh my god, when he finally, finally, not only in the duel part, but when he died, I was so happy. I think a lot of us, when we watched that show, we were very happy in the end. Because in, we didn't have to deal with him and his bullshit anymore. We had to probably deal with his, you know, his group. Yeah, yeah, we surely had to deal with that fucking group in later seasons and shit. And it was just, it was a lot. Let's just say that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, seriously, he gave me feels to that character. And I was like, oh my God, here we go again. And, and I was just like, yeah, mm -hmm, found about to be, you know, OP boy, except she's a girl and she about to kick your ass. And like, <laughs> Things just happen for a reason. Honestly, but yeah, both fights were very interesting. I mean, but still, if I had to pick one of the two, I will say Amanda and Friends fight was very much more exciting. Just the quality of it, especially like, okay, that last little bit and just the zooming in on Friends face, like 
the quality, the picture, the artwork. I don't know why, but I kind of also got feels the season two of My Hero with Todoroki and Deku's fight. Ah, uh, like too much. Like, you know, when just a studio just goes in on a scene, it just, and they're like, we have to make this look beautiful. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, mm, God, uh, okay. Uh, the, the last couple, of, no, the last second to last episode of Delicious Party Pretty Care went into that, even though a lot of people didn't really like the final battle-esque of it. But, um, I enjoyed it. <laughs> that was the good thing about it. But still, I just, I love when studios really just go in. Even if, it, if it's just a regular well-balanced episode but just the really good detail like oh the shading and everything it's like mwah. chef freaking kiss like yes best thing 10 out of 10 would recommend oh my god like bruh but that's just good that that is just like artiste like oof oh my god okay but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Now, is it bad that I kind of want Amanda to necessarily kind of stay close to Fran? Like, once again, Fran can handle herself, but I just don't want her to get separated from her else because the last time that happened, no one was able to reach her for a long period of time. And let's say, of course, from that little bit, someone doing something suspiciously evil-esque and we don't know what it is um and let's say they do get separated and she is on her own how the fuck is like amanda or any of the others going to like get to her in time you know so yeah i think it's a good idea you know not to split up we're not in a horror movie series but yeah we have danger around jeffrey turn but still Please stay together. Please and thank you. I have no chapstick over here. It's over there. I don't, don't want to get off. I feel like these three are not going to cut it. They're not going to make it. <laughs> I'm mean, because they're bugs. Bugs are nasty. Ew. 
Ew. Oh, there's CGI too. I mean, not bad. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it. This feels so easy, or is it just me? See, even Fran. Fran is on a press. She don't care. Damn, poor baby. That's worse than what Rebecca has to go through in the couple of episodes that I got her feet at zero. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> um. I, I mean, y'all know how powerful baby is, right? Like, mm. No. Oh. Dog. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> That's why I kind of feel like Amanda might take Fran under her wing, very similar to um, The Wandering Witch. And how Elena's teacher took her under her wing for like what a good year. And then she was like, hey, you're a butterfly. Go fly on your own, babe. <laughs> uh, uh. Huh? Um, y'all right? Ooh, ooh, not there. Mm. I mean, well, hold up, sir. That's the family jewels. <laughs> True.
Okay, I was about to say, is it like the same of also drinking it? And of course, you see a little girl drinking the water. So, yes. Child, child, no, no. Why do we have to keep showing the spiders? I mean, you know, spiders don't really creep me out like that and such. It, it's more of like worm-based things and then roaches. I hate roaches. I hate them. The way that dead spider just came on in the screen. <laughs> this dog, come here. Food and clay. Can you go lay down? I know they're so cute, right? I, you never would have thought that, like, you know, maybe the front in the beginning probably wouldn't do that, but this one. So different. Baby, baby, go. Mm -hmm. Okay, will we see this person today or in the next two episodes that I have to watch? Right? See, see, see. <laughs> the asshole basher has finally said something smart.
Yeah, but this is fun we're talking about. She just wants to go straight in. Oh, oh honey. Can't say no to that face. <laughs> All right. Not yet, though. Mm -hmm. She about to say, fuck it, not yet. We doing it now. Levels are in this dungeon. I mean, I know a dungeon is supposed to have more than four or five, six levels. Thank God it ain't got no 37. You know, mm -hmm. looking at you. I mean, but did you die? Okay, six hundred. I mean, yeah, six floors. Not bad. Oh, you know, look at him. The guy, no. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so gross. No. Look more like brooches and spiders. Oh, my God. Also, I can't look at cockroaches the same way again because of fate. So, you know, I, yeah, ever since then, I really don't like cockroaches. I don't like fate in general because of that one fate on Fate Zero episode. <laughs> Great. The one time where you also were like, you know, shouldn't we have teleportation crystals? <laughs>
It's a trap. It's gonna be that spider from the opening, ain't it? Do not end the fu- Oh, okay, thank god. Which is called what? Okay. All right. So, um, child is screwed she cannot she can't use her powers without teacher and teacher can't find her because she's probably too far down because of a fucking trickster ass spider I I don't know how to feel. We got two more episodes left. Yes. But everything was going good. But at the same time, I'm like, bruh, something about this feels a little too easy and such. And, and, it, and it's just funny how, you know, the asshole bastard literally thought the same thing. Like, yeah, this felt a little too easy and such because it did. Everything was going very well for them. And I was just like, oh, okay, so we're not going to have to worry about, like, anything. Um, essentially, like, coming in and, like, stomping on the ground and fucking everything up and ish. No. 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 You know, it, it's just, I'm, I'm saying that. So that was a lie. You, you, you can never trust. Never trust. Always. There's always something up the sleeve. There is no, oh, hey, we're ending the episode like this. We're going to end it on a good note. No, 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 no. So now it's like, how are they going to find them? How is teacher going to find Fran? They, if, like, we're, this is like a needle stuck in a haystack. How are you going to be able to find all that? Or a haystack, or no, a small little thing of hay stuck in a pile of needles. We're, we're like, we're in a maze. One wrong move, which definitely this is the wrong move, but another wrong move, they're lost. We're going to become lost. So, you know, stop acting like you know all the way. <laughs> I can't say it right. I always mess up. <laughs> like, you know the rules. We're lost. That's it. We're lost. We're not going to find them. But, you know, it's just at the same time, yes, have hope. They're going to find them. Like, but let me tell you, like, straight up, like, in this episode, truly, Amanda went pure mommy slash teacher role for Fran, which is just so cute because it's just like the first time when they met, like Fran is like, I want nothing to do with you. But I mean, after now, like her giving 
her curry, like, that was too much. My heart, like, oh my god, because, like, I feel like Fran giving curry to someone is that, that's her saying, like, I fully trust you, I respect you, and she really trusts that person. Like, she's like, yeah, I want you to be in my life and stuff, that she really fully respects the person and such. Because I was expecting the situation or relationship between her and Amanda to not really be at the way it is currently now until like mid season two asked. But I feel like whenever we do get into season two, it will just evolve the bond even deeper and such. And and honestly I cannot wait for that. But yes she went into full, I am about to look for my child. Where is my child? Like, mm, like, and any time when, like, okay. Think about, like, anything. When a kid goes off somewhere or just, like, anything that you've seen in, like, animes, real life, whatever situations, you watch something on the news, and a parent freaks out over something about their kid. They nuts. They will, if a parent really, truly cares about their kid, and such because like Amanda is like the mother figure for a friend even though her parents are no longer here and such so Amanda very much is like the mother the stepmother but she is the nice version of it and she will go to the ends of the earth to protect Fran and I really enjoy that and such because at first I was like I'm a little skeptical about this woman too I don't know what she's capable of da -da 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 -da. this is that and the third but now seeing how much these two have grown as <sighs> friends I would say I mean it's vastly different but yeah now the three of them are separated a freaking trickster spider is here they have nothing and I don't know how this is going to end in two episodes. Seriously. Like, dead ass. Like, how is this show ending in two episodes? How are we getting the conclusion in two episodes? Explain that to me, please. Yes. I don't even care if it's a long behind paragraph. Because I honestly, I feel like when this comes out on Saturday, so, somebody's going to write a long behind paragraph. <laughs> and, and I'm not saying that to be like mean or jokey or any, Well, a little jokey and such. Because it always happens. And I, I love reading so much ish and stuff. But oh, I, I can't wait to read it. It's going to be very exciting. But yeah, like seriously, I, how are they getting them out? How are they going to find them? They can't be anywhere near them. They're deeper down. There is no white place. White palace. In, in this dungeon, is it? I have to say this now. There is no su surprise dungeon in this, correct? Yes. Do not die much in me. Technically, you already did that once. I ain't, I'm still ain't mad at it, but still. Don't. <laughs> It's not even Thursday yet, and I'm still antsy about how in the world it's going to end. But you know what? I think present day, well, no, future Deja, because we're not there yet. Future Deja is probably happy of the conclusion of season four and such. But you know, when, when present day future Deja officially watches it, who knows how I'm going to be. Seriously, I, I might end up saying so much on Twitter when it's done. But go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode 11. Okay, episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. I know. Th th this right here. This is right here. You know what this uh, We cross. The ending of We Cross Season 1. Major spoilers to that. We'll, we'll talk about that in the opening. Oh, we might not even get an opening. Gotta find her quickly.
There's the word. Let's split up. Mm. The question is, who out of these three groups are going to run into it? Every nook and cranny. Majorly. Okay, so yeah, um, big major spoilers to like to the ending of season one of Recots. So when our our lovely friend, aka Ryu, um, ends up winning, and, and you know the wish and everything, um, the thing is like when you make a wish, something else happens. There's a blessing and a curse from it, and so yada yada. So she makes a wish, and in the end, she loses the one other thing that she really cares about and so season two of the show is mainly her trying to get the one thing that she really cares about back i'm not gonna go too spoilery like I, that's the only big spoiler i'll probably give you about that for season one as like i have said it, it's just better if you watch it it's good very underrated but good like very good like Like up there with Simphil Gear Good. Okay? So watch it. <laughs> yeah. I know we all have long ass lists and we're all watching so many things. You can watch it. Yes. Take it like two weeks. Maybe. I give it three. Because I don't know how, how much anime y'all watch in a day. Yeah. But isn't that very similar to what, like, Amanda's currently doing, except with the hearing? Yeah. Baby is getting hurt. Please save her.
All right, wolves, we just know. God. Right, because you were sword at the end of the day. Yeah, like how you were named. All right, then let's name it. Please hurry, because like, if you take too much, remember, every second Fran is getting hurt. I think it is. He evolved like a damn Pokemon. Oh my god. <laughs> Again. But, I mean, yeah, and now he's acting like an actual dog. I mean, even though he that is still part of the wolf gene, but still, it's cute. All right, go find Fran. Oh, my baby. Fine, my baby. 
fine, my child. I mean, but he also left Amanda. <laughs> Like, like, oh, we ain't gonna give you no ride or nothing. You just stay. Stay awake. Save my baby. Ew. There you go. me yes I mean do we not okay never mind Amanda she's okay she's she, she coming she's thriving she is on her on the dang dog's behind <laughs> like she is like oof um Did I also mention that I don't like spider webs either? No? Okay, now you know. <laughs> Can't, I hate walking in spider webs too because I'm like, no. Please hurry. You gotta be close. Just blow the damn spider webs away. This woman. Hmm? 
Please, you got hurt majorly. And you made it too. It's okay. I saw she funny. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we all knew that was coming. <laughs> well, um... Excuse me. iPad, will you shut up? Dang, I already answered the text message. Yeah, I mean, and plus you can trust her. I don't think she'll tell anyone about your secret. Oh. Kill them. <laughs> Don't ask about the dog.
That's the cue to get the heck up out of here. An owl? What the fuck a bird gonna do? What, what, what can an owl do? I'm I'm sorry, I gotta be a little honest. Yeah, uh fine and friends, we got the upper hand on this because an owl on an owl can do was fly and attack <laughs> fly and attack with its claws. Yeah. That's what kimono friends taught me. That in science, but still I don't think that thing can do anything else. Now unless it has something that we don't know about, which it probably does. Um yeah, yeah, they might be a little screwed, maybe, maybe, but I am happy baby is okay, they reunited, you know, all hugs for everyone, Amanda coming in, like the third wheel that she is, <laughs> but I also love how at first, like, Amanda was more a little skeptical and a un little untrustworthy towards Tisha because, yeah, She's never taught to teach her, never communicated telepathically with teacher. So hearing someone else coming up and stepping on to her like that, like, okay, yeah, you want to be a little guarded on that. And then I also like the fact that she's like, okay, let's not beat around the bush and everything. Let's just stop. Let's talk this out real quick because I honestly thought the other two were overhearing the conversation and that, yeah, she was going to have to beat the crap out of them in order for them to forget. But no, thank God they got knocked out at the perfect time that they only remembered a certain amount of things. And now the secret is safe between our little trio, <laughs> which is just cute. Honestly, just reminds you of Deku Ame and, um, Bakugo and such with their little secret and they like that. But I mean, yeah, it was sweet. But yeah, this owl, what the owl gonna do? I'm questioning that. Like, I'm over here like, <laughs> like you know how when you are, when you're playing a game and you see something and you're like, <laughs> you overpowered as fuck, right? I can take this thing down. And the next thing you know, they have something up their sleeve and they're like, oh, but you didn't think I was going to have this come out. And then you're just like, ah, no. And then possibly you end up getting your butt kicked. That has happened. To me, once, not very, I wouldn't say recently with Genshin since I'm now getting back into that. I mean, because I am still all the way at the beginning of the damn game. <laughs> we, we don't talk about that. <laughs> but no, like, I think maybe when I was really playing Genshin and, like, the first religiously, like, almost every single night until I stopped because, you know, didn't get Ayaka. And I was like, I didn't want to be. <laughs> I didn't wear the And then two years later, I get back into it. But, I, I mean, yeah. What is this owl about to do? I mean, you know, never judge a book by its cover. But like I said, I mean, like, these guys have the upper hand. So, what is about to happen in this battle between them and an owl? I'm confused right now. I don't even know what to say about this either. It's like, this random bird being summoned by the trickster. Um, I, unless that's somebody's, you know, but that we don't know about. I'm a little guarded. <laughs> but I mean, I'm wrong one, wrong outro. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. I think I might go to sleep after this. I'm starting to get sleepy.
Amanda? Wait, they, they knew each other. And baby don't remember that? Oh, baby don't remember that. I mean, well, yes, yeah, you baby, baby, baby. So, um, I think it's why hasn't Amanda said anything? Are we singing something at the end of this episode? Is that the reason why this is in the beginning of this episode? That would make the most sense, yes. An excited friend, that's all. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, God. Mm hmm. Glad you guys are okay. I mean, hey, I thought she would really ask, like, oh, <laughs> can I use thunder now? <laughs>
This is the one time I was like, can we just take some fire or melt the dang thing from inside and just kill it? Great. The twitch. <laughs> I know. But you couldn't. Good mommy. <laughs> Yeah, Amanda. It's okay, though. Right, so just keep it between y'all. Everybody shut up. Don't tell anyone. Keep your mouth. Mm. Oh, were you coming to say sorry? Shut up. Uh-oh. Oh, but oh. <laughs> now he got like kind of a bald spot. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry. Okay, your parents. Mm Hey, she was happy to do it. Right? I mean, it'll kind of be your home away from home. Yay! <gasps> <laughs> Isn't this the outfit that she was wearing in like the season two poster? Right? Uh, mm. Remember, this is a child. Oh. I mean, but the dress armor was cute. Okay. Mm-hmm. Really? So we'll just meet you there.
I know every kid, huh? Yeah, I might go to sleep after this. It's already like 3.30 and the crash is coming. Well, damn, Amanda's not even going to see you goodbye? Oh, no, there she is. <laughs> Baby, the bomb. Oh. You know, it says that she's sad. We don't want you to die or get hurt. Protect her always. You're right. But it will be next. I go cry now. Yes. I go cry in my corner now. Yes, Mom. I'm not really done yet. I was wondering why your friend was in my room. Yeah. He went, at first he wanted to come in there.
my thing is, why would she be a spy? I mean, because of course, yes, obviously, yes, they want a brand new person coming into town. Of course, they want to watch like every little move that she makes. was good oh my god like seriously too freaking good like everything that i wanted i mean cute ask everything else in between sweet and adorable funny serious moments like yes everything you just want in a show oh these two are just the perfect duo i love it i mean seriously I i'm just I honestly cannot wait until season two, whenever season two is going to happen. But yeah, final thoughts. This is very, very good. Love the fact that it it, it ends kind of on a cliffhanger-esque. So something just tells me that when season two eventually airs, we're probably either going to continue right where it left off. Very similar to um, the other isekai that I watched a couple of months ago as a Patreon series. And how that ended or it could be continuing like several months later and then you know on whatever the heck you're doing um let's see amanda like seeing how <sighs> the connection between them two and then she got to know where and stuff even after friend's parents died and then the f finally once again calling her mom which is a really weird hyphen to do her name great yeah, that's how we ended it huh uh, oh 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 Never mind. Never mind. That's where we're ending it. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Way too soon. Okay, so this <laughs> necromancer type character, what the fuck is he? <laughs> I can't take him seriously. There's always, yes, that one character who you, no matter what, cannot take seriously. I honestly also like, yes, that asshole bastard. Like, seriously, yes, in the beginning, very jealous of Fran. And then, you know, finally he, you know, just, hey, thank you for saving my bros, da 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 You know, we kind of got off on the wrong foot, yada, yada, yada. Oh, excuse me. You kicked my butt in a duel, you know, all is forgiven, right? We're friends now. I mean, yeah, it's like everything is just so much going according to plan for her. But, um, yeah, that last little bit. That last little bit. And who knows how long I have to wait. I mean, I would like, like, okay, this is how, it's very similar to how I felt with Two Year Journey. So, Two Year Journey also ended last Sunday, season two. And season one came out, like, at the beginning, beginning of the pandemic. So, like, twenty mid twenty between 2019 and 2020. And it took at least, what, two years for them to do season two. And now it's already confirmed for a season three release. But we don't know when it's going to come out. And so I feel like we're going to have to possibly wait another year or two um, for season three. Because especially, like what I have now seen for that show going into the next arc they're going to do, which is more modern day as it is a lot. So I am expecting like at least a two year wait. Now with this, um, I'm kind of getting like how I felt with Kuma Kuma Bear because when I finished that show, um, season two was already confirmed and that's coming out in like the next couple of weeks, I believe. So, and that took like what a good year 
So it could be possible. It really, at the end of the day, it always just depends on what studio you're working with and how many projects you're working on. Yes, they have like several different teams working on several different projects. Like it, for an example, if we wanted to use Toei Animation, you have a team that's working on the last two or the last the last movie of the Sailor Moon Crystal series. Then you have a team that's doing the Dragon Ball stuff. Then you have a team of doing all the pretty cure-esque stuff with a lot of things that they're doing um, specifically for the 20th anniversary. And then you have all the other people who are doing so many other things within Toei Animation. It is a lot to a lot of things and a lot of work that goes into, you know, having a company or an anime studio like that. So, I mean, I'm glad that they always get to have other projects and stuff, but then it's always like, in the back of my mind, I always wonder like, damn, do they really have a time? And it, it is a crunch time. I mean, think about like, okay, cause this was something I found out maybe like what, a couple of years ago. Um, and then I relearned it like very recently. I was watching like a weird ass like documentary on like Family Guy on YouTube and such. Like someone was just talking about like how Family Guy used to be good and then now it's not the greatest ask. Um and I've seen I knew something was about this. I've even talked about this like S with Pretty Cure, where sometimes for a whole like for Family Guy for a whole season to like be filmed or even an episode or just a really more of a season that takes a whole year to do I, I don't know like if that's the same thing with like the voice acting and everything with everything that they have to do and such and so when I think about that I automatically compare it to like any freaking anime studio animating anything because like who knows how long that'll take for an example Big, big, big freaking example. Okay, remember the freaking fact that a couple of years ago, once again, going back to the pandemic days, um, the Uzumaki anime was confirmed. It was announced by Toonami during like the, um, I think Anime Expo ask. And we're now in 2023 and we have not, the last thing I heard about that was that it got delayed. And that, I think that was like last year when we found out. Other than that, we have not found out any other details about it. And so now it kind of also reminds me of the the delaying me, the delay, I can't, see, I can't say the word right, the delaying of Persona 5 when that was trying to get an English release. And everybody was like, this game ain't ever going to come out or, you know, as Kingdom Hearts 3, where everybody's joking like, oh my god, it took 13 freaking years for this game to come out, even though we're all like, no, that took about three to six years for the game to come out. I don't know what the heck you're talking about, because there's always a game coming out for Kingdom Hearts every freaking year, ask. So, when I look at, like, the differences between gaming studios and animation studios, like, yes, it's different. Sometimes it is the same amount of time and ish, because yes, we are, they're hard workers, animators, everyone who are doing their job and such. And it's so much that sometimes they have to do something in such a little amount of time. But in the end, they always create these gorgeous works of art and such that, you know, you just want to put in a freaking museum one day. But I mean, yes, like seriously, this season, this first season was very good. Very like out of the park, gave me not only feels to Kuma Kuma Bear, but any other isekai that I've seen. I do love the different thing of it being a cat girl and not just like a guy who is overpowered as fuck. Well, well no, technically in a way she is overpowered as fuck. But um, not a guy coming in being isekai and he's like, oh, okay, I got this in the bag. Like, I know what to do and such. I mean... These last couple of isekais that I have watched are being very different. Like, yes, they're still like the same regular old isekai as basic things and such. But they're making something new. It, it, well, they're taking something old, twisting it, and making it new. Like the freaking, uh, the isekai that I watched about medicine. That ish was like top tier. Yes, it was very, like, uh, not a lot of people watched it. But that ish was good. It was very different. I, I don't even remember the name of the damn show. But I loved it. 
freaking good, very enjoyable. I think what what day did I watch it? Like Tuesdays or Thursdays or Sundays. It made those days very worthwhile, and every day when it was like time to watch, I was always super excited. Or just oh my god, there's like so many. Like seriously, they were just top notch. And really, anything else that comes out this year for Isa guys in general, I mean. I'm looking at y'all a little certain way now because I, it, it's just, it's crazy to see how far isekais have come because like, you know, once again, you're looking at it as, okay, this is the same general idea. Like how, how are we twisting this this time? Because this has become so popular now. We're going to make everything and animate everything. And it's just like, how, how are you going to make this different from something else and I think you know probably a lot of people when they first saw this on the list for when this aired was like okay another one of these how is this gonna be different I mean <laughs> we can say that like the same thing with like magical revolution and stuff um I didn't really know anything about that but <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna make the freaking joke about it <laughs> that giga made where it's like okay yeah how can you make this different towards every other freaking isekai in it gay girls in it like straight up i mean yes that's the different thing like yes give me the yuri because yuri and such this was give me the cat girl with a sword looking like a freaking badass like giving me berserk feels even though i only have watched one episode of berserk do not judge me and such but i mean still like precious baby like yes so freaking good love the fact that you had my daughter, my freaking baby from We Cross in here because, like I said, have not heard her and anything else until since I finished We Cross, like the final season, like what, three, two, three years ago and such. And so it's always very, like you, you miss some of those characters or like the seiyus that voice those characters and you're like, dang, I wish they were in something else that I could watch and then boom. It always happens and, and it's like it was very funny because I think if I can relate it to something else okay when I finished Simple Gear for the first time um I didn't rewatch it but I was just like I really wish all these other series were in another show together and then I could hear them all sitting talking you know da -da 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 -da. and then you know in the future you know someone must have heard me say something because the next thing you know two nope mm, no Three of them. Three of them now. Yes? Yes. Three of them. Three of them are now pretty curious. And there are three left that need to be pretty curious. So, you know, hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Let them be pretty curious. And then you just put them in the all-star movie. And then you can have, we have a total of 70-something pretty curious. They're going to be in this movie. All 70-something. Okay? We all know that. But I mean, yeah, very good first season, that ending. I, I, I just still don't know what else to feel about that ending because <laughs> what the fuck? And how is this going to connect with season two? As, but I mean, yes, very enjoyable. Definitely will watch it again because like, ooh, it was just good. I mean, you know, it, it also makes me want to rewatch We Cross again because baby friend, that is my room. That is my baby girl who I love so much dearly. Thank God the whole series is on freaking country roll and such. And I never country roll so sure because oof. But I mean, yeah. So now here. <sighs> hmm. Should I go ahead and say it? Yeah, fuck it. We'll say it now. So since this is now over and such, the biggest thing is what am I watching next? So it is now, of course, the 15th. And. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I was like, if you have, if you've been under a rock these last couple of days, or really by the time this will come out for you guys on Saturday, if you have been under a rock for the last couple of days, and if you do not follow me on Twitter, or even if you do follow me on Twitter, you have probably seen my tweets for the last couple of days, specifically between Monday to today, Wednesday for, you know, past current Deja right now. Um, and me freaking out about a lot of news that is coming out and such and me like going, oh my God, like this is really happening and everything. And so because of this, I, I had asked a question or I was, no, I was like, 
I had said I had a feeling that someone was probably going to ask me to watch slash rewatch these two shows that I'm glad to do. And I had added the two people. I was gonna add a third, but um the person has not watched these two series in this whole, you know, universe. So I couldn't initially add him because of course of reasons and such. So it's like, okay, I was like, maybe those two, maybe somebody else will, or maybe it might just be myself. And so I was originally going to just continue um, where I was and just watch it on my own. But like, because of where I was trying to watch it, um, people don't have files on one of the apps that I'm using, unfortunately. So in the back of my mind, I just ultimately decided, I said, you know what? I'm already a busy little bee right now. Very busy between work and this and such and everything else that I have to do. I said, you know what, what the hell? I said, we're going to do this. And we are, I, I'm really sticking with this. I, I truly mean this. And I think when both of the videos do come out, because I am going to have them come out on the same day as well. Um... I am going to stick to it. We're going to watch the whole thing like I did with the previous season of the show. I'm not going to say what it is because it's very obvious of what it is. If you know me and what I like and what I talk about a lot, then you obviously know what it is. But if you don't, all I will say is just stay tuned. Wait a couple of weeks. It might, I might be able to record the first two episodes of both shows by Sunday. Um, cause I only have one show and I think I have time. If not, I'm, I could possibly also watch it Friday cause I do kind of want to watch my Patreon shows tonight after my Wednesday shows. But yeah, like it, I'll say this too. If you have not seen either of the two seasons that I am also talking about with this show, whether that is season one slash season two of insert <laughs> insert show A or you've never seen insert show B, I would get on that and such. That's all I'll say. And for the people who possibly know what this is, I, I know that some of you are very excited and such. I am excited too because we're going to go back down on this road. Like I said, if you know, you know. Um, but I think at the same time, because we are what, this will now be three from this series that I'm watching all at the same time and such, it's going to be very interesting for the one person who I am currently thinking about right now, how they're going to look at these older seasons compared to the newer season and such and how he's going to feel but it's going to be a very interesting journey but that is all i will say about that because this video is already long enough and i am getting sleepy and such i am trying my hardest to power through everything but yeah i don't think i'm gonna be able to watch the one of the shows i'm gonna watch I'm about to watch tomorrow but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entirety of season one of reincarnated as a sword if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all in a couple of weeks on i will probably have the videos come out sunday i'm not really sure yet so you know just whenever they come out you'll see them and then you will also see me whenever season two of this show comes something kind of tells me maybe fall of this year maybe summer but who really knows that i mean i kind of said the same thing about kuma kuma bear last year when i binged that and now look it's coming in spring so if i could say me like i said summer fall of this year or summer fall next year or even spring next year you never really truly know in the world of anime so you know yeah but until then I will see you guys all next time. Bye.